Semen retention is an intriguing idea. Men of today feel that semen retention is a practice that only monks or pseudoscience believers engage in. They are completely and utterly mistaken in this regard. It's hard to imagine that our forefathers, the primordial strongman who was always on the alert for his tribe, wouldn't have gone back to protecting them after ejaculation. Not at all. It wasn't so much a practice as it was a way of life for them to keep their sperm. Until recently, we've been led to believe that semen retention is only for those who believe in pseudoscience. Consider the case of horses. As a result, owners keep their horses away from the ladies in an effort to ensure victory. They do this to ensure that the horse is alive, hydrated, and able to keep up with the competition quickly and effectively. Why does self-improvement fascinate me so much? In order to be at your healthiest, one must have the desire to achieve their full potential. When you keep this in mind, you'll be able to explore a variety of self-development tools and strategies. Keeping a tight rein on your impulses and temptations is a good method to work on your inner self-development. It's been a big assistance in my journey to recovery. It's all about self-reflection and discovering your greatest faults. In your psyche, you may still be harboring old scars from the past, or any other trauma. These flaws influence our attitudes, which in turn influence our conduct. So, it's critical to be aware of one's own identity. Harmful decisions and bad behaviors are brought on by addictions. And as time passes, they add together to form who you are now. In order to keep your emotions in check and prevent them from running amok, you must endeavor to better comprehend them. Therefore, by focusing on your inner self, your few excellent days can blossom into several weeks or months and finally years if you pursue self-development with dedication. In the presence of the Creator and the power of prayer, you'll be able to sense His presence. Be patient, since things will only get better. Confront your concerns, but don't give in. You'll see results if you channel your worries and anxieties through Him.